that thing later. How it has ended up there, I don't know. It's pretty weird. Considering we're soon gonna use it more later. Might just be a universal. Like the man who. Would you believe this is the first thing I saw when I came to Newport? Big city? Gotta love it. Like the man who traveled with the uh, broken sword. I don't know. Metro Circle, gloriously decadent. I hear Bingo's planning to buy the whole thing, convert it into a theme park or something. I'll believe it when I see it. Those elevator tubes provide access to the mid and upper levels of Newport. I'd need proper ID before I could use them, of course. Well, let's go on, have a look. It's a police officer. This is one of the smallest cross-level elevators I've seen. The big ones can carry up to 100 people at a time and they go way fast. I've never been inside one, of course. Well, that's fine. Hold it! You're not taking this elevator. Why? Because you're not carrying proper identification. Didn't you know that's a corporate offense in Newport? In Venice, you don't have to. I see. Venice. I should have known. Step back or I'll be forced to take you down with extreme prejudice. That seems harsh. How do I get permission to go through? Only citizens of mid-level status or above are allowed to use these elevators. I guess you're new to this city or you'd know that. Uh, yeah, fresh from the countryside. You do look like a farm girl, it's true. Hey, watch it! What's up with the cops in this city? I'm sorry? I mean, when you arrest people, you read them their rights, and then you sell them products. It's all part of the job, miss. The police department is a subdivision of the Bocamba Mercer Company and the Bingo Corporation. They pay our bills. Doesn't that constitute a conflict of interest? Not if we don't arrest any employees of either company. That makes so not sense. Does when you're faced with the prospect of getting the boot, miss. I have kids, and I'd like to see them through college. Thanks, officer. We're here to protect, serve, and to inform you of the fantastic range of products offered by Bokemba Mercer and Bingo, manufacturers of the world's favorite soft drinks and handguns. Well, those things do really go well together. Or not. Well, let's go this way. Popular place. Not my crowd, though. I think he's selling something. Counterfeit. Triple strength raptures, probably. Hi Oops. I think he's selling something. Counterfeit. Triple strength raptures, probably. Highly addictive and guaranteed to blow your mind. Literally. Well, that's not good. Let's go and see. Yeah, take a stop. I need to go this way. It's a liquor store. This guy's the reason they invented the phrase hitting the bottle. And he's hitting it hard. Well, at least he's not doing Amethyn. Oh, that's a neat something. Now I need to get in here. Mercury. They left out the theater bit. But maybe that's self-explanatory. The Maltese Falcon. Oh, yeah! I remember this one. It's a Disney cartoon with a falcon who, um, goes looking for a black cauldron. It, it's got singing mice in it, I think. I mean, don't they all? I think you just mentioned, like, three or four different Disney movies at once. Casablanca. That's with John Wayne and Katherine Hepburn, I think. They play a married couple who adopt a baby leopard during World War II. It's a timeless classic. You don't know anything about movie, the movies, do you? A Welsh ghost story, written and directed by Ragnar Tornquist. I saw that, it's a classic. 
box office is closed. Women in dire need of medical attention. I thought that was a porno. But I guess it's just an artsy foreign flick. As long as they speak French, it, it can't be smart. Mm. Bergman Festival at the Mercury Theater. Opens August 1st, 2209. That's on Tuesday. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll go. It's locked. Well, let's talk to this guy. This guy looks like he works at the theater. Exactly why we talked to him. Excuse me. Yes, yeah, um. Oh, geez. Hold on there one second, lady. Dang, Marquis. Light up. Good. Now stay that way, you hear? Well, it's always here. If you want something fixed, just hit it hard enough. Do you work at the theater? Yes, um, I'm Freddy. Freddy Mellon. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she owns the theater. Yep, I reckon she does, uh-huh. She owns it. And she'd be running it by her own self, like a, a real proprietor. I reckon I help out some, of course. Yep. And what do you do, sir? I'm the usher. And I also takes care of sweeping and cleaning up after the show. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she says she reckon I'm a regular jack of all trades. I tell you what, I think she's right about that, uh huh. Is the theater open now? No, I reckon it ain't, lady. It don't open till this evening. Ain't nobody in there either. I reckon that wouldn't be legal. You know a man called Cortez? No. I can't say as I does, lady. Ain't never met him. Now, I reckon I'd like to get on with my sweeping, uh huh? But I'm supposed to meet him here. Are you sure you don't know him? Look, lady. I reckon you, you should just mind your own bee's knees and get. I told you, I ain't seen Cortez today. You said you didn't know Cortez. I, I reckon I don't know nobody by that name, so, so I tell you what. I'd mighty appreciate it if, if you'd stop bothering me and let me get on with my work. Jesus, Mary, and baby Joseph. I reckon the whole dang world is, wants to find Cortez today. Thanks, anyway. Yes, yeah, um, I'll tell you what. You go on now and let Freddy Mellon do his sweeping before his mama, Mrs. Doddy Mellon, get all P-I-S-T off. Well, I think he isn't telling the entire truth. Cortez is probably in there, so I need to get in there. Let's talk with this conspicuous guy. That guy's so conspicuous, he's got to be a cop on a stakeout assignment. Mm. Hi there. Having fun? Didn't your mother teach you not to talk to strangers? Let's just tell him a little lie. I'm an orphan. Yeah? Well, all the more reason for you not to talk to strangers. Now get lost. Why are you dressed like a cop? What do you mean, why am I dressed like a... Hey, wait a second. What's it to you? Just trying to do my bit for the boys in blue, sir. You look like a cop. So, if you're on a stakeout or something, you should try to blend in a little more. Go native! Yeah, how? I don't know. But that trench coat it sort of gives it away. Perhaps a pair of blue jeans and one of those I'm with stupid t-shirts might help. Hold on. Let me get this down right. 
Hey, wait a second. What am I doing? Who the hell do you think you are? The NPD fashion consultant? Is that supposed to be funny, ma'am? Are you a comedian or something? Because I'm not laughing. I'm not even smiling, am I? Now get your ass out of here and don't bother me again. Is that a threat? Damn right it's a threat. Hmm. Well, let's talk to him. Hello again. Christ, don't you ever quit. What is it now? Well, let's choose this one. Don't you get tired of hanging around here all day long? No, ma'am. So you're completely fine. There's nothing you'd want. That's right. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Not even a bite to eat? Just had a full lunch, ma'am. Thanks for asking. Are you on the job? On the job? What do you mean, on the job? You know, an assignment, stakeout, undercover operation. I suggest you get the hell out of here now, ma'am, before things get ugly. Was that a threat? Are you threatening me? Yes, I am. Well, we need him to move because, well, we need to win in this one. It's a fuse box. There's something wrong with the power in that box, and it looks like the theater marquee is connected to the same switch. It keeps flickering on and off. But he won't let us get uh, to it. Manipulated. Uh... Hey, keep your hands to yourself. That city property, ma'am. As long as he's standing there, so we need to get rid of him. Let's talk to him some more. Hello again. Christ, don't you ever quit. What is it now? So you just had lunch. That's right. At Cool Cow. What did you have? A triple whammy cow patty with a side order of grease onions and a large bingo cola. No ice. What about fries? And a double order of cheese and fried taters, yeah. Tastiest damn fries you're ever likely to find. Soaking in melted goat cheese. And you had this... when? Oh, about an hour ago. And you don't feel, um, the urge to go? No, ma'am, no. My bowels are genetically enhanced and require only perfunctory attention. The burger filled you up good? You don't have the munchies? Well, now you mention it, I have a craving for sweets. I didn't have time for my usual... Cool cow strawberry pie with whipped cream, chocolate sauce, and a scoop of ice cream. Wait a second. What am I telling you all this for? Who the hell are you anyway? Hey, get out of here, ma'am. Right this minute or else... Is this a threat? I think that was a threat. A very serious one, ma'am. Well, let's try to give him some candy. Would you like a candy? Hey, yeah. That'll hit the spot. Don't you litter my floor, mister. Well, 